Hi, in this video we will learn about how to manage issues in mWater. The same will apply to Solstice, our sector agnostic sister brand. So, what are issues in the system? Issues, or tickets, are basically ways of tracking part of a workflow digitally. An example would be water point maintenance. If a water point breaks down, an enumerator can go to the field, create an issue, and then you can track this issue as it gets resolved. So as a repair person gets sent over and as the site itself gets repaired. You could use issues for a variety of other things, such as getting customer feedback, tracking facility supplies and replenishment, for example, water system maintenance, a whole a bunch of issues. The workflow of an individual issue is shown here on the right. First, you would open it. Then you could create as many updates as needed. Then you can either resolve it or resolve and close it when there's been something that leads to a resolution or the issue just became irrelevant, so you can just close it. You can create these issues inside the mWater or Solstice apps or through the portal. You can assign them to users or groups of users. And once you do that, those users get push notifications in their apps, so they're aware of what's been assigned to them. And then you can manage and visualize these notifications, these issues in the portal. And we'll see how this works. Let's just take a quick look at the anatomy of an individual issue. Basically, each step of the issue workflow, so the open, update, resolve, and close stages, can contain any of the same types of questions you can have in a survey. So that means date, text, number, lists, and you can also link these issues to sites, such as water points, water systems, health facilities, schools, and many more infrastructure locations. This means you can always pinpoint what infrastructure this issue relates to, if that's relevant. And as mentioned, you can update these issues as often as necessary if it's a long-standing piece. And each of these steps, you can have a different form for, different kinds of questions for. So there's a very, very versatile in tracking what you might want to track. If you want to set up a custom issue, please contact us at info at mwater.co or info at solstice.world. But now let's take a look at how you would actually create an issue. So if I jump into the mwater surveyor app and I'm in the field now, I come across a water point, let's say, and I realize that it needs maintenance. I can click the add button here and create an issue. I can select the appropriate one out of the ones available to me, and I start creating the issue. This is just asking a few, few elements of information about this issue. So I'll pick today's date, and I will then select a site to link this issue to. Now we know that it's for this system. I discover that it's a mechanical issue with the filter chamber in this case. I can add additional notes if I want, photos of the problem and so on. This is just an example of one of the common issues being used in mWater. I then submit my issue and remember to synchronize my phone or wait a while so that it synchronizes. And this sends the issue data up to the mWater server. Once this is done, I can go to the mWater portal. So portal.mwater.co and to the issues tab. This is one way of looking at the information, and I should now see that the maintenance issue has been sent. So as a manager, I could see that the issue has been sent. Okay, there's a problem with this water system, and I can here assign this issue to, for example, a branch of an organization so that all the users get it, or just one user. I know this is the person who should be uh, looking after the actual resolution of this issue. And then this issue could be updated. Okay, when was this update made? Let's say the same day there was an update where the parts have been ordered. Okay, and you can see there are multiple statuses available here. So you could order the parts, assign the person, diagnose the problem, or actually make the repairs. So this can be multiple steps and keep adding these ones. And I will then see the whole flow of the issue in one page. And once I'm done, I can resolve, or in this case, close the issue 
it's not relevant yet. So, quick recap, I've created the issue in the surveyor. I could create it here in the portal in the issues page. And now I can view them here in the issues table. However, if I want to create a bit more of a custom experience for managing my issues, uh, please be aware that all the issue information is available to you as a data source in all of your mWater visualizations. So if you go and create a dashboard, a data grid, console, a map, you can select issues as the data source, and then you can create something like this, which is a maintenance issue dashboard for Ghana in this example. And I can pick out information from these uh, issues. I can create filters as I normally can in dashboards. I can see, okay, the resolution rate here in Ghana is very good. I can dive into more details by creating a table and then clicking into this, and I will see the whole history of the issue right there. So um, you can already start using issues out of the box, but my recommendation would be that you create a dashboard that links together with the issue that you are using to really create some uh, well-managed workflow of creating issues, assigning them, tracking them to resolution, and then showing how much of an impact it's having. So that's the basics of issues. Just to recap, you can use them for many, many ways, many, many things. And if you want more custom issues created, please contact us, talk to us, email us at info at mwater.co, reach us on Twitter, Facebook, or LinkedIn. And uh, hopefully this can help you be much more effective in your WASH related work or other digital data management work. Thank you very much.